not a part only of this topic, but for all the topics, you know, that uh, these approaches have to be used as much as possible. So what happens is that, you know, in school, you know, so there are always I've written this in the PPT also. That there are two. Uh, you can uh, a student can actually use two approaches to solve a math question. Okay, but before that, the first and the foremost thing which you require, you know, the foundation uh, to have a command over the math section is the concepts. Okay. So understand. So you also agree that concepts have to be clear. Correct. We have heard this. earlier but problem is that most students don't understand the context of this word concept okay students think that concepts means formula okay if i know the formula that means i know the concepts no it is not like that in fact it's the other way around formula is an antonym of concept okay this for those students who are looking for a formula sheet or a list of formula that they can mug up no this is not a math exam we discussed this very clearly in the thursday orientation you know that formulae are antonyms of concepts the more and more formula you know farther you are going away from the concept if i know 10 different formulae i can solve questions uh, only 10 types of questions where those 10 formulae can be used okay but if the 11th type comes i have no clue you know i don't know what to do okay moreover the problem psychological problem with remembering and mugging up a lot of formulae is that uh, you know uh, because i know a particular formula my mind will not allow me to think beyond it will not allow me to think logical rational you know because it will be you know fixed at that formula oh what is the formula what is the formula so let me tell you there is no formula and when i say concepts concepts means in depth concept see the basic concepts everybody knows for example when i say pythagoras who doesn't know pythagoras everyone knows what is pythagoras but concept doesn't mean only pythagoras concepts also means along with the basic concept okay the certain gray area surrounding that basic concept you know which most students don't know okay also the application of concept see unless i know the application of that concept that means the concept is not clear okay so <clears throat> in school what used to happen is that the application was just next to the concept so this was the concept this was the application so we do a particular concept or a formula and uh, uh, exercise you know following that thing so you know the concept was just next to the the application was just next to the concept now here what happens is that the concept is very far from the application okay so concept is here application is here so the connecting the dots like you know a lot of times when we look at the explanatory answer we realize that oh so oh, this is what it was this to i knew this to i knew but it didn't strike to me so th that this is what i have to do and this is how i have to use this thing and do it like that okay so it's always far from the application always far from the concept okay so uh, <clears throat> so it is very important that we also know the in depth concept the gray areas and its application then you say then you say okay fine my concepts are clear okay so just browsing through some basic stuff basic book that doesn't mean your our concepts are clear okay we'll see when we discuss and we discuss this in every class correct okay and you you and you will agree those who attended certain classes few classes that how the application is very far from the concept okay but it is also a part of the concept the second thing here I have written this in the PPT also. You know, one of the slide what I'm going to write, you know, is only one slide in the PPT. Okay. Second factor, you know, important factor uh, to have a command over the math section. Okay, is the language of the how to interpret. You know, the language of the question in the right context. we have discussed this there is more of english than math in a math question okay so we may know the math part of it but the english part of the question could be very tricky could be very twisty you know word problems twisted language sometimes we read the language twice we still don't understand what they're trying to ask okay so this becomes the most important part in your exam interpreting the language of the question in the right context and each and every word is important one word here and there changes the entire you know context and the entire approach and the entire answer And especially keywords like you know could be must be cannot be 
not necessarily okay least highest getting it so and and in general also you know these are the reasoning keywords but in general all the keywords the entire language so this becomes a challenge and this is a very new thing in your exam we have never encountered a language problem ever in a math question have we, have we? no never that was never a part of of our math earlier in school or college okay but this is going to be a, 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 a the most integral part of any math question of any topic the language of the question a lot of times you know we we uh, we face understanding the language only forget the math part okay okay concepts and i say concepts again the first thing is basic 8 9 10th concepts again only 50% of 8 9 10 we did discuss about this in the thursday orientation very basic okay but everything has to be together you should know the the, the basic concepts its application you should be able to understand the language of the question yeah and the third and the most important part here is the approach this is the most important part the concepts you know a bit here and there it's fine you know one or two chapters you are bound to have uh, uh, problems you know with the concept part uh, that's fine sometimes we don't understand the language that is fine you know one or two questions here and there that is understandable but approach is very important see approach will reflect on all the topics all the questions what do you mean by approach basically when i look at the question okay what do i do what do i think when i look at the question okay so that becomes the part of the approach and if the approach is flawed the general approach if that is flawed then it will always have an impact on you know overall math section okay so basically what happens is that when you look at a question okay in math uh, in general i'm telling you so the first 10 seconds have to be spent just to get the gist of the question okay don't read the question critically just browse through the question first 5 10 seconds just understand the gist what it is okay this is of this topic and this is this type of question oh, okay fine i got it don't read it critically the words and the numbers just browse through it the next 5 seconds browsing through the options okay because all times options give you a direction to think great so when i you know look at the options i realize oh if option this is the range of this is the nature of the option that means acha answer is out of these so, so let's say for example uh, you know i am thinking uh, uh, in the lines of you know uh, uh, somewhere around 30 40 50 in that range marks us but all the options are about 500 and suddenly i realize the options are all about 500 so what i was thinking so at least i can stop that thinking i can think in the direction of the options you know i look at the options suddenly i see pi in three four options i realize oh pi has a lot of importance so i never thought about the pi part it was in my approach there are in my calculation there is no pi suddenly in the options out of five options in two three options i see seven as a denominator in two three options suddenly i realize oh seven in the denominator in three options oh that means there is a lot of importance of seven being in the denominator yeah the person who has made this question has also thought about it getting it so this helps okay so for browsing to the question then the options and a third thing is you know uh, having a rough plan of attack that this is what i am going to do motamoti in this question 